Greetings, I'm marketing wizard Jim Ackerman, and this is your Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads marketing tip of the day. Today, I want to talk to you about one of the seven weapons of influence, the weapon of commitment. I'm not talking about your commitment to anybody or anything. I'm talking about your customer's commitment or what could be their commitment if you simply ask them for it. You know, when somebody makes a commitment to something, they feel bound by honor to live up to that commitment. And therefore, if you can get them to commit to a concept, a principle, uh, even an idea, and then you can tie that commitment to what you're trying to sell, you can get them to be more likely to say yes to the buying proposition. Let me give you a quick example. Once they did a test where they went down the street during the political season and asked people if they would endorse a given candidate. When they said yes, they would ask them to sign a petition. If they signed the petition, the likelihood that they would then be willing to put a yard sign in their yard about the candidate uh, went up dramatically. If they wouldn't sign, the likelihood that they would, even though they said that they would support the candidate, the likelihood that they would put the yard sign up simply wasn't there. Once they made the public commitment, they were bound by their own honor to take the next step and show by their actions that they were living up to that commitment. You can apply that same principle in sales. Get people to commit to a simple idea. You do want to be a good parent, don't you? And then when you can tie that commitment to your product, well, then you certainly want them, your kids to be able to read, and our reading program will help you to be able to do that. Isn't that what you want? How can they say no? That's the power of commitment. Put it to use in your marketing efforts.